we're going to talk a little bit about how to put a landscape together and how to mix our colors and what brushes to use. And it's kind of important to know where to start when you're doing a landscape. If you are going to do this beautiful scene behind us of Hamburg Cove, you always, always, always want to start with a thing farthest away from you in your vision. That's going to be the sky. So we always start there. After you get your trees in, you're going to do your water. So when you lay your painting in that way, top to bottom, back to front, you get all the layers of your horizon and you're going to get some dimension in your painting, all right? So whatever it is you're going to paint, the most important thing is to really have fun. There's no wrong or right in art. It's not like math or English. Use your imagination. Have fun mixing your colors. So you have this value, then this value, then that value. Okay, Again, smoothing with this. You can always add water to your brush if you need to extend the flow of your paint so it's easier to mix on your canvas. Yeah? Not making brown. For brown, we always start with green. And then we're going to pull in red. It's going to make it brown almost immediately. We have some modern artists at this table. We have a Jackson Pollock at this table. Yeah, that's the great thing about art. There's no wrong or right. You can do anything you want. That's the beauty of the imagination. Griffin, you're off to a great start. Are you doing the sunset painting? Love it. Where are we going to put that sun? Middle side, over there. So you want to just trace the outline of your sun and then very gently fill that in. You want to start lower because that's the same color as that. You want to start down in here. And then you can fill it in. Great job, my friend. Thank you. Excellent. Less is more. It's so important in art to know when to stop. Well done, my friend. Thank you. Have you painted before? Yes. Well, I think you need to keep painting because you are a natural. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. John. Griffin, it's so nice to have you here at Miss Florence's boarding house. These are some of the painted panels in the dining room. The artists that lived here and stayed here were invited to paint on some of her wall panels and doors and other areas of the house. These are some of our absolute gems of the collection painted on plein air uh, scenes like we did last night at camp in an impressionistic style because we are the home of American Impressionism here. And the house is set up in the year 1910, so we're actually doing a little time travel back to the year 1910 when the artist colony was in their heyday. That's a really unusual long painting called The Fox Chase, and it's actually the artist chasing the fox instead of the hunters chasing the fox. And you can see them all running down the full view of Lime Street. All right, Griffin, we're going to head upstairs in the house to look at a very special case full of plein air paintings like we did last night. They're great examples of what can be done in about an hour's time. Here's the case I was talking about. With the invention of the tube of paint, it enabled artists to travel and paint outside. This is a traveling painting box, and artists had about an hour to paint their masterpiece before the light changes. And look at how amazingly detailed wow. they are. Isn't that amazing? All of the colors, and to paint that quickly, that small. We'll give it the finger test to see if it's pretty dry here. 
You painted in about an hour last night. You completed an entire sunset painting. So you know what that time frame enabled you to do. Very nice. Griffin, if you come with me, there's somebody that would really love to meet you today. Hi, George. This is Griffin. Griffin, this is Mr. Willauer. Hi. Hi. I'm glad to meet you. Nice You're the artist. You. Yep. Great. We'll go right around here and have a look at the garden, which I think is amazing. This was Miss Florence's garden, and she used it for flowers. The artists painted these gardens as well. Look at that wonderful scene up there. Yeah. But if we go on down and uh, see where the artists also like to canoe on the river. Really? And would paint. I think it's so beautiful. Yeah. If you want to paint the foreground and the middle ground and the background, and then this tree is a beautiful shaped tree, I think. Yeah. So my first question is, how did the Florence Griswold Museum get involved with Camp Claire and Camp Cleo, like the painting events yesterday? Oh, well, um, that's an interesting question because you came to the right person. I had been a volunteer here for many, many years, and I'm an educator. Uh, I taught for 45 years, and I suggested to Sandy and to the people here at the museum to have Julie come up and uh, give you all a, a lesson in landscape painting. So I had something to do with this. Besides the campers who painted yesterday, um, have, have there ever been any professional artists paint the Hamburg Cove? Oh, often. Often, I think it's a favorite subject uh, because it's so, uh, well, I think the word they use is painterly. Why do you think you got involved with Camp Cleo and Camp Claire? Sandy's family uh, uh, are friends of my wife's and mine. All right. And my wife and I knew Cleo when she used to come up here with her parents. And she was a lovely little girl, very shy but full of curiosity yeah. and fun. And she loved it here. And of course, she loved turtles. Yeah. What do you think is the most rewarding part about being involved with Camp Cleo? Oh, well, lots of things. Uh, I've been to one of the sessions that Julie had up there. Mm -hmm. And what impressed me the most was the concentration of the artists and the sense of joy uh, that all of you have up there. There's, it just seems to me to be uh, infectious. The sense of fun and the sense of delight in being in that place. Mm -hmm. And I think also the uh, joy that Sandy has uh, with all of you. I'm a teacher, as I told you, so any opportunity I have to see young people learning, especially in a situation like this, fills me with joy and pleasure. I think it's a wonderful program.